is that you are called this place? You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Do you think you can lie to me? It saddens me to know you wish to hide such things from me. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet... A great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor, I was wondering where you are. It's about time we headed back to the monastery. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day, I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. On our way out, I had the chance to observe the Red Canyon. Did you notice anything, Professor? Of course. I expected as much. The area was covered in ruins, each more curious than the last. They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire, or across all of Fodlan for that matter. That can only mean one thing. The Valley Civilization must have flourished and fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Who do you think lived there? <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. Hmm, perhaps their remnants still influence this world. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A 
goddess. I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lonato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knight's rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the Knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. fun today. Of course. You want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, hello, Professor. Were you watching that? Is there a problem with that? Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. As a man, you may not feel so rushed about these things, but I know my beauty will eventually fade. <laughs> I wish I could be that easygoing. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. 
I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. I'm glad you understand. Not everyone appreciates the necessity of taking the initiative while you're still in your prime. Or are you just saying that? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless you'd like to take care of me into my old age. That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? If you did, that... <laughs> that actually makes me... It makes me happy. I had no idea you might look at me that way. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later, Professor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Unreasonable. How will I see to this? Yubi, what are you doing here? A routine matter. No cause for concern. Ah, so it's something to do with AD then. And? She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look, I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. This has nothing to do with swaying Lady Edelgard's sentiments. I am simply her humble servant. I do what is in her best interest. Whether she cares for me or not is irrelevant. It really doesn't look that way to me. I bet you'd follow any order AD gave if you thought it would make her like you. Am I right? Any order? <laughs> what a thing to suggest. But the answer is no. I will decline any directive that I deem would not be beneficial to her. Is that right? So, just for example... If Aidy commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, I would marry. Mm, it's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. Hubie, pale in comparison? You've seen too many operas. I don't think you understand how the world works. At all. And I don't care what you think, either. I would make any sacrifice to support Lady Edelgard. It's a shame you've never experienced such devotion. You're right. I don't have anyone like that right now, but maybe someday I will. Then maybe someday you'll understand. Until then, we will never see eye to eye. Now, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. Hubie, I don't get you. Although I do find your point of view just fascinating. <laughs> Petra's really nice. Never yells, never says mean things about people. Maybe she'd be my friend. Oh, there she is now. Okay, Bernie, you can do this. Bernadetta, 
Are you needing help with something? <laughs> How did you know? Did you have eyes in the back of your head or something? I do not have that, no. Right. Um, can I ask you something? Do you want to, um, maybe uh, be friends or something? Maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like me. I don't know what you think of me. What I am thinking? I am thinking that you remind me of prey. What? Yes. Like a rabbit in the tall grass. Always watching for enemies. And you flee at any sign of danger. You are quick also. I must be careful that I am not hunting Bernie when I take out my bow. Oh, you try not to shoot me. That's, um, nice. You have similarities with prey. That is all I mean to be saying. S so you're saying you might end up hunting me? There is no need to have concern. I will make sure my arrows are not hitting you. Th that isn't comforting! Whatever I did to deserve this, forgive me! You do not need forgiveness, but it is yours if you are wanting it. Was I saying something wrong? I desired fresh air. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Professor, about this month's assignment, raising an army against the church, really? Though it looks like we won't be fighting, it's still quite unsettling. My understanding is that it will all be subdued rather quickly. I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. 
At a loss for what to do, thankfully a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's Seth's little sister. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. What's going to happen to Lenato? If he's killed, I... I don't know how I'll live with that. Thank you so much for your help. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Professor, if you don't... I hate... Hey! Yep. What do you require? Do you want to hire this battalion? We've got you covered. Bye. <laughs> 
Thank you. In the Battalion Guild, you can find various battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. We're allowed to hire them if we so please, so you should familiarize yourself with the Guild whenever you have the chance. Naturally, battalions lose endurance as they fight. If you visit the Battalion Guild in the market, you'll be able to replenish their endurance. Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Will this one do? Many thanks. This one do? Will this one do? Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Oh. 
I simply must thank you, Professor. Did you hear? The cake spilling. has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art, but I won't pretend to be an expert. Castle Gaspar, eh? It was by... Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the Goddess herself. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the Church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Thank you. 
Next month is when a very important ceremony will be taking place at the monastery. Pilgrims from all corners of Fodlan have already started to gather in anticipation. I pray that you are able to nip this trouble in the bud as soon as possible. Hey there. That's so. Your guidance was greatly useful. I have understood. You are giving me praise? I will get more soon. Your guidance was... Thanks for your help. Nailed it! I'll get it next time. Nailed it! Perfect! I'm getting it. Nailed it! How long will this take? something. Is that so? Professor? Professor, 
I am not understanding where the meaning is here. When and how is this expression used? I fell for it. No, that is what you say when you meet the mate of your soul. The expression is, I fell for it. Thank you, Professor. I finally have understanding. Can I ask you about another word? The one that is written here. Mm hmm? Is something on my face? I am without much time to study. I must use my time with wisdom. Is that really what you are thinking? Or maybe you have curiosity about the mark on my face? You are already knowing that I am from Bridget. This is a mark from Bridget. It is a prayer to the forest spirits. A prayer to be protected. Hunters ask the forest spirits to have safe and bountiful hunting. There are many spirits in Bridget. I have more marks on my arms and back. They are prayers for my family's health and triumph. Are you wanting to see them? That gives me happiness. If there is ever the chance, you will see them. I have much gratitude for you, Professor. You always listen with patience. I can read and understand the language of Fodlin, but to speak it uh, gives me difficulty. I hope I will keep having your support, and I will give you my support too, with my whole heart. I have things that I cannot fail to accomplish. Yes, we will keep walking forward. Thank you. I cannot stand to see you reduced to this menial task. Everyone else does it, and I will too. I don't want any special treatment. I am all for equality, but this is a matter of suitability. We have no good excuse for it, but somehow we came up short. Agreed. The bar may have been set rather too high. I will master this. I'd never have learned this back in my room. I work to grow. Thank you. 